okay so this is how to create a store in droppers the very first thing you need to do is to log into your account so you click on login so if you see this type of message or information you always um, reload the page and log in now while you are on your dashboard all you just need to do is click on the store management it's right here store management and click on stores right here on the store page uh, where you need to create a store just click on create new store right here on the screen you will see um, templates so on your own screen you may see more template or less depending uh, but uh, for now these are the templates that we have here we'll always improve them and not reduce them um, except uh, based on demand so but these things you are seeing here are all templated um, sites that are already made um, you just need to you know edit by adding your own personal logo and as well adding your own products and uh, making some little ch touch of choice and that is all you are done and you start uh, marketing and making money with your business right away um, so we have subscription based businesses too uh, for now if you click on that subscription template you are going to see perfume so we have uh, you know not every product can be used for subscription business model where people pay you per month for you to, to deliver uh, e-commerce uh, products to them uh, per month so we have one here for now which is a perfume maybe when you are watching this you may see more than that but for now uh, the perfume business model cannot so you can use this but remember you cannot switch in between templates anyone you have chosen you have to choose a particular business model that is why before you got here you must have actually you know um, understood or try to understand what type of business you want to start so if you want to start a shoe brand you want to start clothing line brand you want to start any type of business at all these other templates are perfect for it this uh, store template these three okay you can use it for international or use it for nigerian market so remember you can only have one store um, on your account if you want extra store you will order for it on your account uh, from your my uh, membership uh, dashboard you're going to see that um, shortly so now we just have to select one of these templates so let's select this red one here um, called red we just click on select and then the next thing it says you should submit and you are going to make payments well don't uh, don't shake uh, in terms of payment if you have already paid uh, for the main app if you have paid for dropper software itself or you don't need to pay for the store part you just need to create your account just click on submit and create site now it's going to ask you to make payment take you to another page for you to make payment and stuff after you are done filling up the information uh, but you just have to ignore that and send message to the team uh, from your um, home dashboard of your software you just click on the live chat here and send message to the team and that's pretty much it so i'm just going to pause the video and fill this information and then let's go ahead and hit create okay feel exactly what you would like to have in your business in terms of business name let it be your username i mean that will help you uh, better but put a username here then put your email address let it be a correct email address so that you will get notifications on sales on income in your business from your store directly equally choose a password that is very strong you can see how long this one is otherwise the system will reject it choose a password that is very strong and save it somewhere when you are done creating it you can click on your save um, stuff uh, password saving stuff to save it for yourself but you can just um, you know save it somewhere else if you like now the next thing here is the uh, site url droppers provide you with a subdomain automatically in your system absolutely for free so you have this uh, uh like now just type your the preferred business name here which you have used as username or site name put it here and then it's going to automatically assign you a subdomain just like this one here now let's go ahead and hit next step all right so this is now the uh, next step or the final step
see you there